welcome again to our next topic in uh, copying control. <coughs> we have seen this copying control before as well in the previous uh, classes, but um, we'll start it uh, in some more details about the copying control. Okay, so so with the copying control, we have seen that we can create a, a like a quotation first. You can see we can create a quotation first, then we can create an order. Then from the order we can create a delivery and then invoice. Okay. Also, if you want to create a return document or a credit memo or anything like that, for example, you can create a return from the order and then the delivery will happen. Then credit memo will be given. Okay. So all these things are basically controlled via copy control. Okay. So what can be what can be uh, created as a follow function? So if I open any um, sales order. Okay, if I open any sales order, all the document flow you can see here is basically controlled via copying control. So the meaning of copying control is, for example, um, if I show you example, for example, I want to, um, let me copy this sales order number, okay, I will copy this sales order number. Now I want to create a, QT. Oh, sorry. Yes. So, for example, I want to create a quotation here, right? And uh, I want to create that quotation. So, so far, what we have done is basically uh, like we created a quotation first, and from there, we created a sales order, then delivery then billing okay so if you want to go the other way around for example also we can create first inquiry okay so for example if i want to go the other way around i'll say okay i want to create a quotation okay from a sales order that means i got a sales order already and from this one i want to create a follow function quotation now this 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 doesn't make a sense if you think of this Okay, that quotation, creating a quotation with reference to a sales order or creating a quotation with reference to a say invoice. Okay, that doesn't make a sense. Okay, to create a quotation. So these type of things will not be allowed in the system. For example, if I show you this one, so this is the quotation create screen. And if I click on create with reference, and here I will say I want to create with reference to order, click on order tab, and here I will paste the order number. Okay, if I say copy, system will give me an error. Okay, the error is saying copying control is not set up. Copy control is not supported. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to explain to you that whatever is possible is is customized in the copy control. That what can be created as a follow-up. Okay, even if I now this 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 thing doesn't make a sense to create a quotation as I said with from a sales order, but for any reason you want to do this, yes, you can do this. Okay, so that that will be done by the copy control. Okay, so that's the role of copying control that what is possible and uh, what is not false possible when you're creating a follow-up functions. Okay, so this is what we're going to see here, copying control settings and all that. Okay, so copying control. Okay, so in copying control, you have like different types of setting, copying requirement and uh, what type of item categories can be copied. Okay, and price determination and uh, what will happen to the schedule lines and all that. Okay, so let me open one copy control here. Um, so if I go to the customizing, and uh, sales and distribution, sales, and here we have the, all the sales document header settings, schedule and settings. Okay, so if I close this one, here you can see the maintain copy control of sales document. Okay, so here is the copy control of sales document. And if I open billing, here you will see the copy control for billing documents. So here is the copy control for billing document. Here is the copy control of sales document. Okay, so basically uh, we're using this. So like these are the sales document 
and then we have the billing document and delivery will be will be like a it will be uh, set up with billing and delivery will be set up with sales order as well okay so if i open the first one maintain copy control of sales document okay so if i open this one here you have all the settings so like so far we have seen was quotation to sales order right so let me remove inquiry for now so quotation to sales order okay so we credit so many sales order with the reference from the quotation so if i open the this one sales document to sales document okay so here we're talking about the sales document to sales document so we're talking about that quotation <coughs> to sales order okay so sales document type to sales document type so let's see <coughs> the setting here so so far we basically uh, uh, used ag as the uh, qt qt as the as a document type for quotation and sales order type was or right so the sales order type and that's your quotation type okay so we'll see the setup from qt to or how, how this is done Also in this, what I'm going to show you here, you can see how the transfer will happen header to header, item to item, and schedule line to schedule line. Okay, so in this one, what we're going to see here is in this scenario that how does the system copy from header to header, okay, then item to item copy and schedule line to schedule line <clears throat> so let's see this one so here there are a lot of setup for the copy control for example this is a target document this is a source document okay so in my case this is a target document this is a source document okay so target is or source is QT. So even if I click on position, if I want to search for something, what I'm looking for. So here, um, first one is the both sales document type. I don't know which one is the source and which one is the other one. Uh, okay, so first one should be the target. So target is my OR. Okay, and source is uh, QT. Press enter. That's the one. It will open that one. It will take you directly to that position. So here, if this entry is here, that's why I can create this thing. If I delete this entry here, then I will not be able to create a sales order from the quotation. Okay, and if you want to do the other way around, you need to create an entry the other way around, OR to QT. Okay, so this is, sorry, the other way around, QT to OR. So this one is OR to QT, okay. So select this one and click on this display. So this display will be telling you about header, header setting, header to header. Okay, so header to header, here I have shown you this one before, like, their copying requirement, which is the main thing, copying requirement. So copying requirement will tell the system is 001. This had the same customer. That means a couple of things that system needs to check that um, uh, what should be uh, what should be uh, the requirement before the system will create it. For example, if the if your header is blocked or if there's a block or deliver or block or something on this header in in previous document, system will say, okay, now I can't do this one. Okay. So, or any something is rejected or something is deleted or anything like that. Or for example, in quotations stage, if the quotation is say, we, we create a valid to date, okay, valid from date, valid to date. If the valid to date is, the, is in the past, system will also ignore, the system will also give you error. It, it will say that, okay, I can't do this, this one, create a sales order because the valid to date is in the past. So this is all basically done by this copying requirement. Okay, so as I said, copying requirement is basically just a stack of a web program and uh, you can find them in VOFM, VOFM transaction. Okay, and there's some other setting. These are also web programs, so general header data. So what data should be checked, that header data should be checked and business partner header data like that. Okay, and partner, partner data should also be checked. Okay, 
this one is copying item number that